day starts, we show up, we have a roll call to find out what um, what we're going to be doing for the day. We look at the reports from last night, past week, uh, emails that will tell us where we're assigned for the day. Uh, after that, group effort, we get the horses ready and the trucks and trailers ready. Right now we're walking over to make sure we got water for the horses um, we do and hay, uh, especially today because it's going to be about 90 degrees. In the summertime and the warm weather, the um, use of the dryness, the hooves begin to crack. You see cracking here. This is kind of um, moisturized and uh, kind of bring the, uh, the hook back. And it also looks nice too. I'm picking his feet. Uh, he wants to walk around out there and they get mud and rocks and all that up into what we call a frog. This here is a frog. And, uh, Clean it all out. It's kind of like you if you were barefooted and you stepped on something that would hurt. I'm going to give you a bruise, and it's their feet are the same way. So these are our three trucks. Uh, our, these are a couple years old Chevy Dually pickup trucks, um, and then our three trailers. We have another trailer uh, that's, that pulls the uh, carriage that we got just this past year. the saddle from sliding back when we're riding. So this keeps everything in place. It's a saddle pad. Pretty much what the saddle pad does, it, it uh, provides another layer of protection underneath the saddle. see all our all our mounts all have badges that consider police animals police officers so the same penalties apply um, on them as if you were to if you struck a, a police horse the same penalty applies as if you struck a police officer This here is called the uh, lead rope. <clears throat> Pretty much what we use the lead rope for. All our horses always have them. In case we are in a neighborhood and we get called to a complaint, we can use this to tie them off somewhere while we go into the uh, residence and handle the complaints. Um, so, and it's also used to obviously lead them from place to place when we're not on their back. So, and that's pretty much it for uh, saddling up the horse though. Today we're gonna hit um, Peachtree Road. Run some radar. You guys have uh, the radar guns with you, or mm -hmm. okay? It should be charged up. Yes. All right. Uh, Thursday's assignment. Uh, Captain Watson hit me up a while ago, uh, so we're gonna be doing the special up on Thursday. It looks like it's gonna be day work before, so shouldn't be any adjustment in your schedule. Bruno, you've been approved to do the 12 to 8 shift and continue the community services program that you had already scheduled. So that shouldn't be any different. Um, I got an email message from Ashley Boyle from New Bolton Center regarding red. And I forwarded that to you, Mark. Um, we need to make sure he gets a double dose of Panicure today for a second on the uh, update on, the, on his, uh, his meds and, uh, and also that I mean, so. Uh, I didn't see anything significant that would have anything to do with our schedule, so Peachtree is just the easiest place for us. We haven't been up there for a while, so it should be fruitful. I uh, don't have anything further right now, so tomorrow is wide open. Okay, all right, well then let's, um, let's head up. And start.
um, we actually have computers um, on the horses and printers, and we use these to write all of our citations. Um, once we uh, write a ticket, um, the little printer spits it right out, so nothing's handwriting any. Everything's uh, computer. So I think we're really only the only mounted unit that actually has computers on their horses. So I can't think of another unit that does that. So, um, but it takes time to boot everything up, just like you are at home. And um, once I'm done there, I'll get them tacked up and I'll get this attached and we'll start working. So, you know, our goal though is to, you know, to remind people to, to drive slower. And we have a construction site across the street, so people are going to be back and forth across the street here probably. So, you know, it's safety. It's about safety, not about the bus. Well, I hope we have a nice, easy, safe day. Um, as you see always, you know, we, we're always um, surrounded by people who want to see the horses and pet the horses. Um, the horses, they're, they're definitely a great um, community uh, contact. They, they bring people out, um, and not just, you know, for something for something good, you know, not for something negative. So that's one good thing about the horses. But, you know, we also have to do our job as well. So our, our objective today is to um, try to grab some of these uh, drivers that are speeding. So that's what we're going to run radar today. Um, there's a lot of complaints on this roadway due to speed. Um, so we'll, that's what the will be our main objective today. As cars go by, um, I'm able to watch cars go both directions, and what I do is run their tags just to make sure that the cars are valid and whatnot. Um, the officers on the horses are also able to do the same thing, but when you have cars coming from both directions, sometimes the tag uh, could be missed, so it's better to run it more than once than not to run it at all. So as cars are going by, I'm also checking for violations, and. Um, they may be occupied running another tag that I catch here, and if the car makes it out on the main roadway, then I'll go back. I'll go out and get the car and bring them back to these guys. department 17 years now been with the mounted patrol for just over six years um, some of the things I enjoy about mounted patrol is, is an exciting and rewarding career um, a lot of times we go into drug-ridden neighborhoods that the people don't normally come out unless we're there and it's a pleasure to actually see young kids come out and ride bicycles and give them free time and time to enjoy um, their neighborhoods while we're patrolling. And then once we leave, it's pretty much shut down and it's overrun by all the crime and everything that's going on. These guys play a special, it's, they're a special tool for us because anytime you go into a neighborhood, even if you go in a police car, people don't normally come out and associate with police cars because they're considered snitches at the time. However, with the horses, they can actually sit there, pet the horses, and look at you as they're petting the horses and giving you valuable information. We've got an information from shootings, drug information, homicides, burglaries. I mean, you name it, we get the information. So these guys play a valuable tool with being a liaison between the police and the communities that we serve. Hi, I'm Officer Mara Schultz, and this is my Mountain Big Red. He's a seven-year-old Clydesdale here. I'm brand new to the unit. I've only been on the unit for approximately one year, but I've been with the Newcastle County Police Department for about six years. Actually, both Red and I are new. Uh, we just finished our first year on patrol back in April. The thing I like most about the mounted unit is 
getting out into the community and doing the parades. Um, the horses always enjoy doing the parades. It's great to make them look real pretty, and everybody loves the horses from the Newcastle County Mounted Patrol. Another speed in violation I had, 44 to 25, and Jackie told me it was worth getting the ticket because I was on horse. So, sometimes you do get that.